Okay, now let me just set up this other thing about creation. Uh, creation, so what? Does it make a difference whether the world was created or whether the whole thing just is a process of evolution? Does it make a difference whether the world was created or whether the world just evolved? Does it make a difference? The answer is yes, this is a big thing. Um, could God have used evolutionary processes? Could God have used evolutionary processes? Could God have used evolutionary processes to accomplish his purposes? Yes, he could have, okay? Um, and then there's a big debate. Is there a big debate between, have you got some people that are creationists, that God created wham bam and everybody was created just the way it was? Do other people suggest more evolutionary processes? Like, I look at some of you people have like blue eyes, some of you have brown eyes, some of you have different color. Question, did that develop over time, the different colors of the eyes, for example? And so those, in other words, how much evolution do you evolve for? Are some people like Christians who believe God created but used evolution as a process in a big way? Yeah, some people go that way. Other people are more, no, God just you know, created, created, created. That was it, and it was done kind of thing. And so you get this big debate within the Christian church, actually. And even, even by the way, do we have a debate even here at Gordon College in terms of how much and how you scale the evolutionary processes in or out of some of these discussions? How does that affect your Weltanschauung? How does that affect your worldview? I just like this word Weltanschauung. Doesn't that sound cool? Weltanschauung. Okay, it's a German word that means worldview. If you view yourself as created in the image of God, is that very different than I just evolved out of monkeys, you know? I mean, it affects, it affects your worldview. Yes, sir? Does the Bible ever actually talk about evolution? Yeah. Why couldn't the Bible talk about evolutionary processes? Evolutionary processes, when were those things even talked about? It was like in the 19th century, right, with, uh, what was that guy's name? Charles yeah, Charles Darwin and things, okay? So it was, what I'm saying is there's no evolutionary processes in the Bible because they had no clue of this stuff. Those were developed in the 19th century and 20th century, frankly. <coughs> yeah, it's possible that God told them more things than what we know now. All we've got left is the Bible, and, and uh, yeah, there could have been much more. God could have showed Moses all sorts of stuff. And I would, you know, the honest truth is, I've always suspected that God did show Moses when he was showing him the creation, that he actually kind of like put up a, okay, I need to walk. Okay, but that, no, that, no, 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 God's dealing with Moses. Did God deal with Moses face to face and stuff? And God's showing, telling Moses, day one I did this and stuff. I'm wondering if he kind of like, played a 3D video and said, hey, watch this, Moses, this is what I did, you know? We captured it on the screen. Now, you understand, I just made all that up, but what I'm saying is, is it, what the point that he's making is a really good one. Is it possible that knows Moses knew more and God showed him more than what he wrote down? I, 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 would, I would bet my house on that, yeah. But now I don't know what he showed him and how he did that, but uh, that's a really good point. Okay, now, how old does the Bible say the earth is? Now, this is a really important question. This is a really important question. You guys have read Genesis 1 to 11 now. How old did the Bible say the earth is? Has anybody got a verse on that? Give me, uh, please, one verse. You guys, uh, excuse me, this is a quiz. Did you read Genesis 1 to 11? How old did the Bible say the earth is? Seven days, she says. That was a good answer, okay. Does the Bible tell you how old the earth is? Is there any verse in all the Bible that tells you that? Zero. It doesn't occur there. We do, do we know on the basis of the Bible how old the earth is? We don't know that, okay? The Bible doesn't say. Now, by the way, is that a very important admission? Is that a very important admission? There is no verse in all the Bible that says how old the earth is. So that's a very important point to get down. Now, what I'd like to do next time is to go over... And we're going to do the Bible uh, walk through things. Is, is look at the relationship of Genesis 1 1 to Genesis 1 2. In the beginning, God created the what? Heavens and the earth. And the earth was what? Formless and empty, and darkness was over the face of the deep. What is the relationship of Genesis 1 1 with Genesis 1 2? And we'll look at three different ways of, of handling that, and then the implications for dinosaurs and Satan and Bigfoot and Leviathan. We'll cover that now. Now, 
Bible aerobics. Let's everybody up. Let's, we got to finish this Bible aerobics for you guys, and so we're going to go over this several times here. 